guys, what, uh, what am I doing with my hands? Let's take that back. Hey guys, what's up? This is Hope Slice here with your typical Hope Slice of Life video. Now, first off, can we just acknowledge how crazy it is that this is my first video of 2016? That is nuts. Like, that is absolute cray cray. So, Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you're excited for the new year and that you're excited about your new resolutions. Even if you don't keep them, it's always great to have good intentions. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites from 2015. Without a doubt, my favorite shampoo and conditioner for 2015 has been this. This is the Dove Advanced Hair Series Pure Care Dry Oil for Dull Dry Hair. I have been using this shampoo and conditioner for about a year, a little over a year. I talked about it in my January favorites, and honestly, I just love it. I keep going back to it. I did try other shampoo and conditioners this year. The shampoo is really good if you have dandruff, and the conditioner is just really good at what it says, conditioning your hair. And especially since I ombre my hair this year, the bottom half of my hair has been super dry. The conditioner has been really good on when I'm in the shower and I'm using it, I just apply it to the bottom half of my hair and it just makes my hair so much softer and it just keeps my hair looking healthy. Skincare became really important to me this year because I think I finally understood how taking care of your skin really made a big difference. My favorite cleanser, I have loved the Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser with passion fruit and green tea. This is by Formula 10.0.6. I've never heard about this brand before, but I saw it at Ulta one day because I was looking at their different masks. I haven't been disappointed at all. This is really good because it starts out as a gel, but then it goes into a foam. So that's been really good at helping take off my makeup at night. All of their products are just really gentle on my skin. They're not harsh, they do the job that they say they're going to do, but they're not going to rip away your skin at the same time. Also from that brand, I have loved their So Totally Clean Everyday Cleanser Sensitive Formula. It's really gentle on taking off eye makeup. This is the only skincare product so far I have been able to find that isn't harsh on my eyes when I take off my eyeliner, mascara, you name it. For a toner wise, I am still loving Clean and Clear Essential Deep Cleaning Toner. Basically, this just helps treat and help prevent pimples. And I usually keep this mainly to my T-zone area on my face because that's where most of my pimples pop up. I've had this for a couple of years now. I've gone through multiple bottles of it it's just really good. For a face moisturizer, I have been loving the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. You can use this not just on your face, but all over your body if you have really dry skin. But I mainly just use it on my elbows because I get really dry there, sometimes my feet, but mainly on my face because my skin just gets really dry in the winter time. I'm going to need something that's gonna help my skin stay hydrated. And then for lips, one of them is also by First Aid Beauty and it is their Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. I usually put this on after I do my skincare at night, right before I'm about to go to bed. I'll just unscrew the lid, I'll put a little bit on my ring finger, put it over my lips, and then I'm done. It takes care of my lips as I'm going to sleep at night. I just wake up with my lips feeling very hydrated and smooth and it's very nice. I didn't know how I should categorize this one, but this is the Clinique Repair Wear Intensive Lip Treatment. It gives a nice little sheen to your lips. I actually have it on today. It goes on glossy, but it also is a lip treatment. This is probably my fourth or fifth tube because I've loved this for more than a year now, at least two years. But I've gone back to it, especially since it's gotten a lot colder where I live and my lips get a lot more dry. I have some tools, some makeup tools I wanna to talk to you guys about real quick. My first favorite is a Real Techniques brush and it's the Expert Face Brush. This has made applying my foundation a lot easier. Another favorite is a Real Techniques Contour Brush. Just made bronzing a little bit easier for me as I'm still trying to figure out what the deal is with it. 
And this is also by Real Techniques. This is their Miracle Complexion Sponge. I still think this is ridiculous that someone has invented something like this. I'm not gonna lie. I have found that all the hype about it, it's pretty true to the things that it promises. I mainly use this for, um, after I put my concealer on my face underneath my eyes, I'll dab it in to my skin. And sometimes I'll even put on my foundation that way as well. But I found that it just makes my foundation and my concealer look a little bit more natural or a little bit more like my skin. It's a really weird thing that I never thought I would be able to get behind, but I actually really like it. My favorite foundation of the year is without a doubt the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I remember earlier in the year I went to Sephora and then in the fall I went to Ulta and I asked both of the ladies who helped me what their recommendation was for either a primer or a foundation and both of them suggested Tarte and I just think that says a lot about Tarte as a brand whenever different stores immediately say the same thing. The lady at Ulta, she put this on my skin and it's the closest foundation match that I've been able to find. It is a matte finish, which I didn't think I would like because I have dry skin, so I'm much more likely to go for something that's dewy or luminous of a finish when it comes to foundation, but I like it. It is full coverage and you can build it up if you want even bigger coverage. I've been using it constantly ever since I bought it. My two favorite concealers of the year are from Maybelline and the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is for days when I feel like I need a little bit more love underneath my eyes. If I haven't had a lot of sleep, I'll pop this one on underneath. And my second favorite is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, the treatment and concealer. This one I also use underneath my eyes, but I also like putting this one on my eyelids right before I do my eyeshadow. And it's just a good base for my eyeshadow. So I've liked both of those. My favorite all-time blush of 2015 is the Benefit Rockateur Blush. This is so pretty. It's just a nice pink color and it has little gold uh, shimmers in it, which you can't tell at all when you put it on your cheek. So don't be freaked out when you hear that. I just like it. It just looks so good and I'm in love. For eyeshadow, I had to mention this one. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Back to the Bronze. I have this on today. This is a cream eyeshadow. I usually just put my ring finger, give it a little swirl around in there, and then put it on my eyelids. It's a nice bronzy brown. That's how I'm gonna explain it, bronzy brown. My favorite eyeshadow palette, without a doubt, is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I've just come back to this one constantly throughout the year. My favorites are probably Silk Teddy, Push Up, and Honey Pot. It's just a good match of mattes and shimmers, and it's really good pigment as well, so I've loved that one. My favorite eyeliner is the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio. I have become addicted to trying liquid eyeliners. I've always been a pencil eyeliner girl before this past year, but now I just love liquid eyeliners. And this is really good. It has very good staying power. It's easy to take off at night, but it also doesn't smudge or get anywhere around my face during the day. My two favorite mascaras, I have one high-end and one drugstore. My high-end one is the Benefit Roller Lash. This is not the full-size version. This is the travel size, but it's the only one I had to show you. I love this one because it gives really good lift to your lashes and it's also really good at separating them as well. And then for my drugstore one, I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is really good at lengthening, thickening, and a little bit of separating as well, but not as good as the roller lash on separating. I've been using this one a lot more just because it's cheaper. My favorite brow product is definitely the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the shade Deep Brown. This, I just had no idea what to do with my eyebrows until this year. I haven't mastered it fully. I have graduated to brow mascara, I promise you that. I'll just usually use brow mascara on the days where I feel that 
I have a lot of foundation or concealer on my brows and I need to give them a little bit more color. And this just makes it really easy to do that. My last beauty products that I want to talk about are lips. The first one is NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. This is a brownish dark pink color and the texture of these butter glosses are what they sound like. They feel like butter and they glide on like a gloss. This one doesn't have a name on it, so I'm going to have to put that down below, the name for you. But this is from L'Oreal and I have the shade 601, which is Nude Ballet. This is a lip stain, basically. It's glossy at first, but then it goes a little bit more to the lip stain with a little bit of shine to it. And this one is more of a brownish, orangey pink color, I would say. It's a brownish pink. And without a doubt, you guys know which red lipstick has been my favorite. It is the Rimmel Kate Moss in 107. It's a nice dark berry red, and I'll usually build it up to a dark berry red because it's not like that immediately when you put it on your lips. So I usually build it up to be a little bit darker. And this is just the only red lipstick I found that looks good on my pale skin because I have to be very careful. I can't wear vibrant red lips as I figured that out this year. But yes, that's my favorite red lipstick. Also, I wanted to share with you guys my top three favorite moments or experiences from 2015. Number three has been returning back to camp as the SAF coordinator, mainly because during um, SAF devotions this summer, we decided to go over the fruit of the spirit. And it was such a learning experience for me, learning the importance of the fruit of the spirit and just going through that journey as well with the staff and seeing them grow through it, but also seeing the change in me. My second favorite thing has been getting a full-time job, which happened in August. It's so refreshing just to be at a place where I'm not rushing ahead to the next step of my life, and I'm just taking in, and I'm just appreciating the season of life that I'm in. I don't have to worry about what's gonna happen next, what do I have to plan for next? That has been so nice, just to be able to relax and appreciate where I am. And my number one favorite experience from 2015 has been going on a cruise with my family and also my friend Heather. And what I've loved about it is that, first off, we went to the Bahamas, which was awesome. I love traveling. Heather and I made a commitment to each other to try one new thing or experience every single day. So one day I ate sushi, another day frog legs, uh, another day we learned two dances and performed it on stage in front of a crowd, which was so exciting. Another day we went to the Atlantis Water Park, which was a lot of fun as well. And then another day I tested out some flirting skills. Didn't know I had some moves, but oh, buddy, have I got some moves. Trust me, I was surprised myself. It was really good for me to experience new things, and I hope I can do that in the future more, just to experience new things and stretch myself and travel a little bit more. So that is it guys. My memory card is about to be full so I'm going to sign off really quickly. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me about your 2015 in the comments below and I will see you sometime soon with another Hope Slice of Life video. Goodbye guys!